saying no, Sasha, then we're saying no, Sasha. But if it's saying mm, Sasha, then I probably like push through. Hey. Mm. This whole tip video is gonna be like all over the place, but it wouldn't be a Sasha video if it wasn't. Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasha and this is my channel Simply Sasha 414. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some tips with you guys on how to stay motivated and positive during this crazy pandemic that we are going through. It's still surreal, it's so crazy. But yeah, I wanted to share some tips with you guys. And so if you are interested in knowing those tips, if you think you could benefit from some of those, then just keep watching. But before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. It's, you know, right there, it's down below, it's red. Hit the button, it's free. Please excuse mine, it got a little dyed in the wash. But it still is the same message. But um, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe. I've gotten quite a bit of subscribers lately. I'm so grateful and thankful for you guys that have been watching my videos. Um, it really means a lot to me and um, it really helps motivate me to make more videos for you guys. So yeah, also follow me on my social media. Instagram is simply Sasha 404. Uh, I love posting on my stories and things like that and it's so much fun. And yeah, that would be awesome. So don't forget to Stay tuned. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay guys, so for tip number one, I would suggest you updating your current routine or creating a routine if you did not have one. Um, I believe having a routine creates stability. It also helps you from becoming bored. Um, it also lets you explore things that you never really had time to explore. I would also make sure that it fits your lifestyle. So if you're like married or you have a family, you know, kids and things like that, make sure you include, you know, that lifestyle into your schedule. Also to make sure that you um, include breaks is very important because just because, you know, we're not so much on the go, go, go right now doesn't mean um, we can't be like that in our routine, which for me, I had to make sure I do that because I will try to like, go 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 even in my routine whether that's working on YouTube or um, practicing this or practicing that um, and without any breaks it kind of defeats all that hard work and purpose because you'll like fizzle out so be gentle with yourself definitely it, like the routine is more like an outline of things that you know you can follow um, it's not for you to be like yeah if you don't feel up to it switch things around on your schedule like, Okay, I got a little bit too excited about routines and went a little bit into much detail and that's not what this video is really about. So, we're going to go ahead and keep it moving. Yeah, if you want to know how to create a routine, let me know. I can record that video for you guys. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see a video about how to create a routine that, you know, that's best for you and I will do that for you. Okay, so for tip number two, I would say limit the news. Yes, I know the news but I need to watch the news to stay up to date on the what's going on yes true I wouldn't say cut out the news altogether because yes you need to stay informed you need to know what's happening in your state in your city um, you know but I would say to not watch it all day uh, every day um, or if you want to watch it every day like really really little maybe in the mornings and at nights or just maybe once a day in my opinion, the news can become a little bit heavy and I don't think that's good for your mental state. Now, I'm not a doctor or anything. I'm not trained in this, but for me personally, I know a lot of, of watching the news a lot can make me feel a little down. And that's not, you know, we're trying to stay positive during this um, pandemic. Um, I believe overwatching the news can lead to fear and worry and that is not good. So, limit yourself watch it, get informed, then turn off the TV or turn it on to something else. HD TV, I've been watching that lately. It's actually really interesting. Or you guys can um, watch some more of my videos. I have some LinkedIn down bar in the cards, you know, have a marathon. My videos are fun and uplifting, so check them out. For tip number three, I would schedule some online meetings. Okay, so I know it's not the same, but listen, hear me out. 
it would be super fun to just schedule like okay so i came up with this idea with um my like you could call it my core group of women that i love and cherish um but i told them we should have like a brunch date like a virtual one you know we either make our own breakfast or you know order some top 42 or first watch but now they close first watch it's okay me and my best friend have been playing on this um, app called House Party and I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of it because a lot of YouTubers lately have been talking about it and kind of saying you guys should try it out. Da -da -da. Um, honestly, it's pretty fun. I enjoy it. The most, the best game on there, there's only a couple games. I think that's the only negative to it is that they should have more games. But um, we play the drawing game. It's hilarious. We literally die laughing all the time it's super fun you should download it you should definitely check it out try it out with your friends try it out with your husband your boyfriend your sister your brother your mom try it out it's super fun even if you're in the same house try it out with them it's super fun okay guys tip number four is to stay active now for this one I struggle just a little bit teeny bit because I have this little thing called lazy and I'm trying to work on that but once I get past the laziness, you know, get over that hump and I actually work out, I feel so good. I feel so much better. Um, I feel accomplished and it's just good for your body, right? You know, they say when you work out, you produce endorphins or release endorphins. I'm not too sure how to say that. But, you know, endorphins make you feel better. At least that's what they say. So, um, I believe it because after I do work out, I do feel much better and it's really good for your body and you should just keep moving even if you didn't work out in the past just stretching a little bit doing some workouts like maybe via youtube or maybe you find some on pinterest i think it's really important to keep your body moving and yeah i work out about three times a week and it's every other day and sometimes i do it on friday sometimes i don't i listen to my body you know and i'm you know if my body's saying no, Sasha, then we're saying no, Sasha. But if it's saying mm, Sasha, then I probably like push through, if that made sense. Okay, so tip number five is to stay connected and have faith. I believe in being a part of something that is uplifting and helps you keep your faith up. I feel like at, in this time, we all really need that. So my church, Church by the Glades, which I love, and if you don't know, if you haven't seen my last three videos, I kind of talk about them, or like my last two videos, whichever, um, I kind of bring them up because they it just makes me feel so good. Um, five days a week, they're doing a five minute devotional called Fearless Five. It's amazing, five minute empowerment um, out of your day, and it's super quick and super impactful, and I really love it. And then on the weekends, you know they do a service which is amazing i will have the link in the description down below so i feel like having faith will really help us to keep pushing and to keep um our spirits up to get through this so if you feel like you need like something like that or you're longing for something like that go ahead and check out the link down below it's amazing um that's the church link in a like take you to everything like there's on they're on instagram too actually i'll just link it all below but yeah it's amazing um you guys should definitely check it out but yeah that is tip number five Whew. okay guys we made it we made it to the end of the video i really hope and pray that this video was helpful and that it made sense it was a little bit of struggle recording it but um, I'm trying to not be so like hard on myself and I kind of want these videos to be more real and feel real and not so perfect and you know what I wasn't having a perfect day and this is the day that I chose to film and I still wanted to film it's just that the words weren't coming out as I guess neat as I would like but hey that's life it happens you got to keep pushing you got to keep going but um hopefully those tips helped you guys out um i will have all the tips right here on the side just so you guys can kind of see a review of that um hopefully that did help all links will be down in the description if you guys enjoyed this video let me know down below if you guys have any other helpful tips let me know in the comments it could help me out it could help somebody else out watching this video and that would be super awesome don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not yet already 
um, it will make me super happy and yeah and also don't forget to share like and all that follow me on my social media simply social 414 Instagram and yes thank you guys so so much again and um, yeah I'm just so grateful for you guys and I'm super excited to um, continue filming for you guys Ooh, girl almost going on a whole month of consistent uploading hey 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 but um yeah thank you guys again and thank you for being patient with me and yeah see you guys on my next video Mwah. bye deuces